Hello, my crafty friends. It's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations, and it is June 2024, and this is my collaboration for the month with Michelle from Scrap Secrets. And this month, we challenged ourselves, or I challenged her, she challenged me. We gave each other some criteria for cards that we were making. Um, for my directions from Michelle was to use my gel plate, um, to use a color palette that I am not, that I don't normally use, and um, a shaped card. Those were the criteria that she gave me. So I am, I have my jelly plate here, and I am using Distress Oxides. Um, this background isn't actually a card, I don't use it for the card today. I end up using another background, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, but the colors I used were Squeeze Lemonade, Carf Pumpkin, and Crackling Campfire. So I've set down my cardstock um, and put some paper on and rubbed the back of it. I did rub it much longer than I showed in the video because I find apparently that's very soothing and it went on for quite some time. Um, so I cut a lot of that out. Um, I don't know, there's something about it that I enjoy. And so here I'm just showing you, I don't typically use this color obviously because it is dry as all get out, but I'm able to pull out this filmed bit and shake it up and get that moving again. I used way too much paint. Um, definitely didn't need this much, uh, but I picked a yellow, an orange, and a gold. And so I'm just briaring this gently over my entire jelly plate. And now I'm going to put down this stencil, which unfortunately I don't remember the name of it, but it is from a uh, Colorful Life Designs. And so then I'm just taking a scrap piece of paper. This is just um, thin cardstock, might even be computer paper that I am using to um, pull up the extra ink. And then I will lift up the stencil and wipe off some around the edges, which probably wasn't necessary, but um, felt it needed to be done. And then I'm gonna put down my paper and lift this up. And then once I do, I decided I liked it, but it was a little, a lot of white space. So I took some of that gold paint and coated the jelly plate with that uh, using my dirty brayer, which is fine. I do have that scrap piece of paper over that I could use to wipe it off if I wanted to. And then I'll put that same piece of paper back down to kind of fill in the background um, to not have as much, um, you know, open white space. And I kind of, I liked how that turned out. So then I will take and use my circle die to cut out a background because I went with a circle shaped card. And these are just stitch circle dies. They are from Brutus Monroe, but several companies have these that you could um, use. Um, and while I'm doing that, and I will show you how I do my card base, I'm just folding an A2 or a full size sheet of paper in half, and then I will leave my die slightly off of that folded edge, and that's what's going to give you your hinge to have a shaped card. You could do this with any die shape if you wanted to have a shaped card. I had to run it through my die cutting machine so many times that I kind of pressed it together, so I had to, to peel it apart, um, and that's what it looks like right now I decided to then do a full circle to cover my background um, and then I will take from honeybee stamps the sunflower dye is it honeybee no it's lawn fawn I'm sorry this honeybee dye set that goes with the magic iris and I did that out of some scrap pattern paper and then I'm just going to adhere everything down. So while I'm gluing, I just wanted to touch base. Um, I will link Michelle's channel down below. So I hope you will check out her video. Um, I haven't seen what she's been working on. Um, so I did give her some different criteria for her card. So you'll have to head over and check that out to see what, what instructions I gave her. I'm curious to see how she took those directions I gave and what she came up with. Um, I did end up giving her more directions than she gave me. I tried to even it out, but she said that it was, that it was good and that she will, um, so I can't wait to see what she came up with. Um, if you have any ideas of things that you would like to see us collaborate on, we've been trying to do different themes each month. Um, I do think we have a theme for July. I'm not going to tell you, but I think that I think we have a plan for that. Um, but we are always looking for ideas, so feel free to leave a comment down below if there's anything that you'd like to see us working on, or from my channel in general, if there's um, something you'd like to see me 
to create. Um, I do have some new stamps from Ink Road Stamps that I should be sharing in the near future. Hopefully I'll get some projects with that. Um, and now that I have all of that adhered down, I'm going to take a Simon Says Stamp stamp set um, for the Thank You Sentiment. I have been working on resin projects, so I've been making earrings and coasters, and I've had um, friends and coworkers order them, so I have been wanting to give um, thank you notes for that, so that's why I've been kind of focused on making some thank you notes to, to bulk up my stash. Um, and I'm just going to use a clear block and pray that I get this um, using the Nocturne ink, and thankfully it worked first the first time. Um, so that is my project for today. I will share a picture of this finished and the bonus card that I did using that first background on my Instagram channel, so I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. And as always, hope that you have a great day.